So electrification is now the buzzword in the automotive industry and whether we like it or not, the Philippines is actually also headed in that direction. Now one of the hindrances to its adoption right here would be the lack of charging stations or charging infrastructure. Now one company, Solarius EV Charging, seems to have a solution to that and joining me is its president and CEO, Peter Wilson. Yes, good Hi. morning, you. Yeah, nice to see you. Yeah, good morning. So uh, Peter, can you tell us more about what Solarius is? Oh, absolutely. So we have um, launched this new division of Solaris Energy called Solaris EV Charging uh, with, the, with the goal to make EV ownership in the Philippines as convenient and, and, uh, and uh, cost effective as possible. Uh, much more convenient, in fact, than the combustion engines and, and accelerate this transition to e-mobility. Um, to that end, we help our customers uh, with home chargers because that's the most common place to charge an EV and the most convenient place. But above and beyond that, what we're really announcing today is the start of a nationwide EV charging network uh, where we aim to deploy 180 charging locations by the end of 2023 so that EV drivers can reach any corner of the country and find a convenient place to charge overnight when they get there. Well, that's great news. So 180 chargers, would you say right now, how many do you have? Well, right now we're just getting started. We literally only started putting chargers in the ground last month. So we already have seven locations. Um, and we're looking for many, many more, obviously, it's a big rollout. Uh, so EV drivers or people who aspire to have EVs, uh, I'd love for them to contact us and tell us where they would want the chargers to be located. Uh, the most important thing for us is to make sure we put the chargers at places where people want and need to charge. I see. So I guess my main question would be, there, there are a lot more establishments out there that provide sort of like a free EV charging solution, right? So what makes yours different? Oh, good question. So free EV charging is all well and good. It promotes the transition to electric charging. But you can imagine, for example, if there's a free charger at one of the shopping malls in Manila and you drove all the way from the provinces to get here and you're depending on a charge to get back home again later, um, the free charging does not have a quality of service imperative. So if you do get a successful free charge, then it's all well and good, but you cannot rely on it because if the charger doesn't work or it's already blocked by another vehicle, then you may not be able to get home. So our solution is different. We're the first ones in the Philippines who have got an end-to-end -end solution, including payment integration. Mm. So that means that customers can come to one of our locations, very simply scan the QR code, uh, make a payment, and then charge their car. While the car is charging, we give automatic notifications on the progress of the charge, and when the car is fully, fully charged and ready to go back to the provinces. The difference between paid and free mm -hmm. is that when we charge for the service, uh, we have a quality of service imperative on our shoulders. We have to make sure that we have a 99.9% .9 uptime on the network because drivers are depending on us to, to get the electricity. That's the big difference. Oh, that's great news. Now, you did mention that um, there's going to be some payment involved. So what sort of payment schemes do you, like, do you, do you offer to use the Solaris charging stations? Fantastic. We have so many. We make it as seamless and convenient as possible. Um, so we include uh, credit card payments, uh, Google Pay and Apple Pay even. Um, and some locations will offer voucher codes from reception, for example. But in the Philippines, e-wallet services are quite popular. So we've opened that up as well. And with our application, which is available on the app stores, you can top up with GCash, Paymaya, Western Union, and other services that you commonly find at 7-Eleven, and, um, and then carry a balance on your phone, essentially. So when you reach a destination you need to charge, you just withdraw on that, on that balance. Well, okay, that's great. Now, um, I think here in the Fairmont Hotel, the solutions would include the 7 kilowatt and a, was it a 22 kilowatt charger? That's right, yes. So, so yeah, what sort of like uh, AC chargers can we expect from Solaris? Yeah, that's right, good. So, um, Fairmont Makati, we're so proud to be here. They're the first location in Metro Manila signed up to our network and it really supports their eco initiatives. We've got three chargers here, a 7 kilowatt and a 22 kilowatt in the VIP parking area and another seven kilowatt down in the basement area. Um, if you reach this hotel with a 10% charge, you're going to have a nice dinner, spend a nice comfortable night in the hotel, wake up the next morning. Even if you're charging at seven kilowatt and it takes 10 or 11 hours to charge your car, it'll be ready to go when you wake up in the morning. Effectively, what the Slider CB charging network is doing is it's completely eliminating range anxiety from the Philippines because when you buy an EV that has 400 or 500 kilometers range, you can reach just about any corner of our country. Um, as long as you have a charger when you get to your destination, 
then you can continue the next day with another you know, 400 or 500 kilometers of range. Well, now I think I'm going to put you here in the spot. So you did okay. mention like 180 um, EV chargers. Would that include Visayas and Mindanao or would this be just primarily in Luzon first? Well, Luzon, of course, is our biggest island in the archipelago. So we have to focus on Luzon. Uh, but for, cer for certain, this is a nationwide network, uh, network. So the next logical choice, and we will be doing this in 2023, is Min Mindanao and, uh, and Cebu. Yeah, okay. That's There's some of the smaller islands, like Ilo Ilo, for example. Uh, it may not make sense because if, if you can drive 200 kilometers, you have enough range to go back to where you started and charge it back at home. But we'll certainly look at those locations and where it makes sense, we'll put the charges. Peter, can you tell us more about your look, your current location partners or where people can actually find the Solaris charges for now? That's great, yeah. So it's so easy. You just download the application from the App Store and we present a map of the country and you can see all the dots that we currently have. And that'll be growing quickly. Um, any hotel or resort, public parking space, office buildings, shopping malls, uh, condominiums, apartment buildings. Anybody who wants to add charging services for their guests and tenants can contact us. If they're qualified, we actually install the charger for free. So those locations have no capital expenditure. All they have to do is provide us with a parking space, electrical connections and an internet connection. We take care of the rest. Well, I think one of the main differences with you, Peter, as a president and CEO of a company is that you yourself, you drive, well, a plug-in hybrid right now, and you're shifting to a pure EV in the near future, right? That's right. So yes. I guess from an owner's perspective, um, how do you see this development happening? Well, that was the genesis of Solaris EV charging because we bought, my, my, my wife and I, we bought a plug-in hybrid car about two years ago. And the range is not very far, it always switches to gasoline. And every time the gasoline engine starts the generator, you feel guilty because now you're burning fossil fuels. So of course, the ambition is to be full electric. But we realized that that's not really possible. I drive 60,000 kilometers a year in my solar business, which is a significant amount, more than most people drive. The only way that I could make that transition to a full electric car was by having a charging network so that I can reach a hotel like in Manila, for example, and charge overnight and do my business the next day. So we thought, okay, we have two choices. You can wait for someone to build a network or we just do it ourselves. So we developed the business plan. We did our market research, looking at countries in North America, Europe and Asia, adopting the best practices and applying those to the Philippines that make sense for our market. Okay, I think that's it for me, Peter. Congratulations so much. Uh, any final words you'd like to say to, to the audience? Well, if you're in the market for uh, a car, then please go straight to an electric vehicle because there's so much more fun to drive. It's so much more economical and, of course, great for our planet. And um, if, if, please contact us. If you have an, a place, a location in mind where you'd like to have an EV charging station, please contact us at www.solarius.com.ph and let us know and we'll put it on the list and then um, look forward to seeing you charging at one of our stations soon. All right, Peter, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Yeah.